Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 19, episode 77 of our little save here. So just kind of wanted to give you a recap of where we have been. We started off with Infield Town. I'd really given some thought to going the distance with them. Speaking of, where are they now? So we were National League South, 12th position. That was the year I left. And we were higher than that. We were safe. So I think they got relegated that year. Looks like it. 12th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Partial year. And then we stayed up with Barnett, promoted, won the league, and got to, and then took the job with West Brom. So they finished first last year. They were first when I left last year. So let's check out Infield Town. So the Vonorama National League South. So they're back in the Bostic area. Isthmian South. So that's they got they got relegated. That's disappointing. That's too bad. And right now they are fifth. One win, one draw after two matches. All right. So let's take a look at their roster. Luke Pearson. I seem to recall him. Zach Fagan. 32 years old now. I do remember him. Uh, Liam Coldclup. Um, Aaron Wright. Not a lot of names that I remember. Yeah, don't remember a lot of those names. So they've moved on. Uh, then Barnett uh, was League One. So they are currently fifth in League One. So they did stay up, and they're currently fifth after two matches, two wins. And Barnett Hoskins, Baluya Wimmy, MJ Williams, there you go, 31 years old now. Aya Kaviti, Awani. Billy Bailey, Jordan Stevens, I think I recognize. Mariah Welsh, I recognize him. Dion Pereira is still there. Wow, okay. That's actually surprising, but I guess they did get promoted and stay up, so he's probably happy. Uh, let's see. Kendra Simmons looks injured, or is he tired? He's just tired. Doesn't say he's injured. He's got two goals in two appearances this year. And Kenny Tilson Good. He's new. Uh, let's see. Transfers. Let's see who they transferred out. Transfer history. There we go. All right, yeah, I remember bringing these guys in. All right, so they brought in... Billy Clark, they loaned out. Shaquille Wallace. Tristan Cover, they sold him. Okay. Patrick Awani, they got him on a free transfer, but didn't he play for us already? Yes, he did. We had him on loan for three years from Bournemouth, and they got him in on a free. Well, good for them because he played well. He played well, left defender, so good for them. Uh, so I wanted just to kind of catch up there with where we had been. So we're starting our first full season with West Brom. Last year, of course, we were 18th when we took over, and we finished 8th, solidly mid-table. Uh, I won Manager of the Month once. We had Head Coach of the Month twice for Barnett before coming over last year. Head Coach of the Year and Manager of the Month once in League Two with Barnett. And Manager of the Month once. So, you know, a couple of, couple of personal accolades. Nothing going on with Cups or anything else. Uh, we did get promoted up but didn't win the league, which, you know, 
I think getting promoted up was the better uh, better por portion of uh, what we accomplished there. All right, so let's go through transfers, and then we're going to play one match today. So let's kind of go through the uh, schedule first. We had some pretty high-end uh, friendlies this year. We played Real Madrid, Red Bull Salzburg, uh, RCD Espanol, and Deport Deportivo Alaves. A uh, couple of losses. Real Madrid beat us 4-1. to one. Had a nice crowd there. Uh, 22,000 home fans. Uh, and two draws. So we have yet to win a match. That's troubling. We open with Liverpool today. Now, I will admit, I screwed up big time. Big time. Um, and it's not my fault. I guess technically it is, but I'm not going to take the blame for it. It's the fault of the game. Uh, so <laughs> well, you'll see it when we get to it. All right, let's look at transfers. Uh, so we sold Maximiliano Coelho for $33 million to Southampton. We had to cut payroll. We had to get some money on the books just to be financially sound. Coelho was our leading goal scorer last year. Uh, but we got $33 million for him, and sucked to lose him, but, you know, it was it was what it was. Uh, he ended up with, well, he, he may not have been our leader, but he was right up there, first or second, uh, in the short time. We bought him for 22 last year from Indipiante from Argentina, sold him for 33 made a nice little profit. Uh, Arnoat Danjuma, we sold going up to $45 million dollars. Uh, he had wanted to leave, and so I said, okay, you can leave. So uh, he's 30. You know, I start looking to get rid of players when they pass 30. That's just a personal thing. Um, you know, if I can get younger and cheaper and sell somebody for a profit, 30 to 31, 30, 31 is about the age that you kind of maximize your profit potential. Um, taking a look at him. Uh, we bought him for 23 and a half, sold him for 36, and then there's some upside on there as well. Uh, eight goals, four assists, played really well for us last year. Uh, but, you know, again, a cut. Narte, I wanted to keep. I refused an offer, and he got pissed. And so I, I told him I'd let him go. And I, uh, he got several bids, but he ended up going back to Lester, who had made the original bid that I rejected. Uh, 39 and a half million uh, midfielder. Uh, again, hated to lose him. If we take a look at him career wise, uh, we paid 23 and a half, made 13 million plus a little upside. Six goals, seven assists, uh, two player of the match last year. So not happy to lose him. Oh well. We've loaned out Jeffrey Fleming, one of our young players, to Sunderland. Uh, we did sell Ben Sheaf. Uh, for 8.75 to Middlesbrough. He was one that I had put on the blocks. Just he wasn't going to play enough, I don't think. He played three matches for us last year, 16 the year before. I just don't think he was up to it. So we took a little bit of a bath on him, three quarters of a million. Uh, too bad. When was he with, uh, when was he with Leeds? Okay, because, yeah, I'm like, mm, I don't remember him being with Leeds because I'm a Leeds fan. So, yeah, he's not with Leeds. So, he's with Arsenal right now. <laughs> I was like, uh, Louis Alsop, we uh, let go on a free. Brannigan loaned out. Uh, oh, Galat's away, man. I, I hate giving anything to that club. Uh, if, if you don't know the history, just look up Leeds Galat's uh, Not a fan at all. Uh, Sean Brannigan. Uh, goes to them on loan. Glenn Craddock on loan. Mitchell Mar Marchant and Joe Burton, some of our younger players, all out on loan. So we made $111 million in sales, and we spent $33 million on incoming. So let's take a look at who we got. We picked up a German, Jan Lowe, from SC Paderborn for $2.1 million. Uh, he is going to be a striker option. He could play all the striker positions, including the false nine that some of my tactics use. Very solid physically. Uh, you know, he's he's average pace for this level. Uh, you know, maybe a little lower, but he is solid. Uh, he plays one-two, so a lot of passing, uh, you know, and, and breakthroughs. 
Uh, his mentals are very solid all through here. Uh, heading for his, he's just, he looks all around to be a real solid player. Now, I only ended up with a, you know, the 10 games or whatever we finished last year. So I'm still trying to figure where, you know, kind of the, you know, his Premier League is at 15 plus. If that's the case, then he's not going to be as good. Now, granted, he's only two and a half currently. Four star potential. He is 25, uh, but I think he can come in and do a job for us. He can play uh, up top. He can play the number 10. He can play the attacking wingers. And all of our tactics have some of those positions. So, if we, you know, in this position, he can play up top. In this one, he can play up top. And in the fluid, which I'd like to try out a lot this year, he can play you know, either one of the winger spots. So uh, anyway, I think he was a good get. Uh, fans weren't really happy about it, but again, 2.1 million. Stuart Coleman comes from Tottenham for 850,000. He's a center back. He's six foot three, very strong, good jumping reach. Physicals are really good. Concentration, anticipation, positioning, uh, tackling, marking. I think this guy looks really good. So he's probably going to be at one of our new starting center backs. Again, three star, three and a half star. Uh, not going to be all premier, you know, not, he won't be one of the best players in the premier, but for a club at our level, mid table, I think is really good. Uh, I did hit Leeds up. Leeds had a player, Roy Hoffman, I found uh, on uh, the transfer list. So we signed him up to 3.2 million. Uh, he is a left winger, so two of our three tactics plays there, and then the third tactic he can move up. But uh, if we take a look, two star, three and a half star, again, solid physicals, nothing, nothing else. You know, his acceleration is really good, agility, uh, composed decision making, crossing is really good. So we do play a lot of crossing in, uh, first touch, long shots, passing. So I like him. Uh, he's already started two matches in the friendlies for us. Uh, Dale Sinclair comes from Luton Town for two and a half. I was really looking for bargains. And typically, you know, that's going to be these younger players that aren't quite developed that we'll have to build up. And then we can sell them for 30 million to the, you know, Bayern Munichs and, and you know, Man Cities of the world. And, you know, then we go out and find some more two, three, four million dollar guys. Uh, and reload for our mid-table run since we're not going to be a, a top six club. But, you know, with FM, even with less talent, sometimes you can get up there. Now, he curls the ball, looks to pass rather than attempt to score, which is good because his finishing is shit. Uh, so this guy, we play a lot of Mazella in this area. So he's he's got decent pace acceleration, stamina, he can go all day. Uh, can't dribble well, which is good because he looks to pass rather than score. He does like to knock the ball past the opponent. Eh. His passing is real solid. Tackling and technique is solid. So I look for him to be more of a playmaker type uh, or coming back into the halfback role, uh, tackling and then getting rid of the ball up into the attacking end of the field. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know if he'll start a lot for us, but you may remember last episode, um, this was a position that we had to address. Oh, by the way, this is going to go up on Friday. My birthday's Saturday. So, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm getting older. Uh, so I'll probably have a few more gray hairs next episode after this one. Uh, let's see. Eduardo P Perry comes from Lazio. Is that the guy we just, no, he's a right back. Uh, solid, you know, really good potential four and a half star, uh, pace, stamina, acceleration. Uh, he's got some good positioning, tackling, marking, and eh, he's not a great crosser of the ball, but we needed an update, upgrade at right back, and we needed depth, so he's going to be one of the two. <laughs> uh, Hassan Bozdag from Hertha, 4.4 million. One of our bigger signings of the offseason. We had to uh, actually wait on a... Uh, work permit, work visa for him. Uh, he's a striker. And I was looking for a striker after we had let go of uh, Quello. So three star current, four star potentially, six foot one, knocks ball past opponent. He has got great pace and acceleration. 
decent mentals, composure, decision making. Finishing is solid, first touch, dribbling, so he can play that striker role. I really like what he's going to do. Um, in the U19, he scored two. He had a, a brace in his one match, and he's got one goal in two for us in friendlies. Uh, then we've got Sean Brannigan. He was a free center back, six foot tall. Uh, again, I was looking for depth. He's 18. You know, he's not, you know, he's not fully developed. I don't even know what his, uh, oh, I loaned him out. That's why. So he's on loan. I knew, yeah, but he's got some good potential being 18. So hopefully he gets uh, better over the year. Uh, he was somebody I took a flyer on. Just, you know, maybe maybe he can be of use. Maybe he'll develop enough and we can sell him for some money. Uh, Paleo Perez comes from Rayo Velicano for a million and a half. 26-year-old Spanish center, center mid and defensive mid. Again, if we put him back there at halfback. Uh, he can't jump at all. He's 5'9", but he's got some pace. He's got some acceleration. He's got some decent mentals. And he can mark. He can pass. He can tackle. So, you know, I think he can come in and do the do a job, especially as a reserve, likely what he's going to be. Uh, two and a half, yeah, two and a half potential and current. So he's pretty much maxed out. But we got him pretty cheap. Andy Vernon we brought back on loan right before, uh, right near the trading deadline uh, from Arsenal. So he played for us last year. He did a really good job. Uh, well, you know, three goals in 17 didn't play a lot until I came on board. So interesting. Uh, Brendan Taylor comes from Hibbs, seven and a half million. He was our second big uh, number two signing. Uh, he is a right winger and uh, can play that right wing and then attacking mid. Very good physicals, crossing. So this gives us two of our signings can play right and left wing. And both are very good crossers of the ball. So I'm hoping that leads to more goal opportunities. Uh, Three-star current, three-and-a-half potential. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll hope he does a, a job for us. And then lastly, uh, I was happy last year with uh, our keeper. But outside of defensive mid and then some of the moves that we made, I knew – Keeper was a position I would like to upgrade if I could find the right deal, if it made sense. I ended up selling enough players and cutting enough salary that I actually made offers on three different goalkeepers. The clubs all accepted. Players signed elsewhere. After three, I was like, we were at the trading deadline. I was like, oh, shit. So I, I started searching. I came across this guy with Hamburger SV, Francesco Caputo. And in my fluid tactic, the fluid tactic that I'm using, uh, we do play a sweeper keeper. Uh, really good goalkeeping skills. Rushing out, not so much, but reflexes, one-on-ones, first touch is okay. I just like what he can do. Strong, he won't get pushed off the ball. He's six foot six. I really, really like this guy. Three and a half star current, four star potential. And this is where my screw up came in. So if you've played the game, which I'm a 99.9% .9 of you, I'm guessing, have, if you're even watching this episode uh, or series, know that right before that, right at the end of the trade deadline, you have to do your um registration for your squad he's not registered now i only have 22 so there's room for 25 right um minimum of eight i've got nine and minimum of maximum of 17 foreign players i've only got nine so i did the auto select and enter and of course once you hit enter it jumps ahead right and he didn't get entered i wonder if it has something a foreign player signed after brexit without a salary of at least 541 cannot be registered 
Well, he's making at least that much because he's making almost five and a half million. Um, but yeah, I have no idea why that didn't register him. Um, and the way I found out is I hit auto select, register players. It immediately loads in back into the on uh, inbox. And I had an email and he was not happy. <laughs> He's like, why the hell did you sign me and not register me? And I went, dude, it was an oversight. I screwed up and I will register you at the first opportunity. Believe you me. Unfortunately, I don't think that's till January. So we have screwed ourselves of our number one keeper for half a season. Thank you, SI. Appreciate that. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. So let's go to our tactics. Let's go to our squad. Let's do that. Uh, da, 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 views. Okay. So, yeah, I want, let's use our guidelines. All right, there we go. All right, so Grabara is going to be our keeper until midseason. We did re-sign him, so he's making just over a million a year. Uh, I didn't have a choice. Uh, you know, I didn't have anybody else that was any good. All right, we're going to go with, well, we'll look at it when we get into the match. I just want to make sure, all right, he's unregistered. All right, we can filter out the guys that are, well, I do want to look at all of them right now. So if we do by current ability, all right, I am back. So yeah, one of my, my kid, my youngest got home from school and he has lost his keys. All right, so uh, let's see, injured, how long is he out for? Two days, our unregistered keeper, great. Uh, let's see, injured, he's out for two days. Nyambi, he doesn't play a lot. He's making six million a year. I mean, he, he, he doesn't suck as a right back. But, you know, he's two and a half stars, so that's probably why he doesn't play. Uh, and if we're already down to two and a half stars and I'm down a little farther than I would probably like to be. Hey, you, what are you doing? Um, Jan Lowe, two and a half star, four and a half star. Potential, Grabara. All right, so let's go to potential because we want players playing so they can develop. All right, so he's not in, injured. So he should be in later. Unregistered, but he is my number one. All right, Ciaran Malone is 20 years old. Not pacey, but he has good acceleration, good finishing, really good heading, six feet tall, jumping reach, technique. If I played him at a false nine, he can't pass, though. But he could probably do some finishing. All right, well, again, I'm still trying to get to know the club, you know, Fully, you know, it, it does take a little while. Uh, let's see. He's injured. Jake Robinson. How long is he out for? Eight days and four weeks. Okay. Three and a half star. Cool. Cool. All right, well, let's see. And one more thing. Team report, depth chart. All right, Isa Chuk Chukwuma is my number one guy, allegedly. Four-star, four-star, 24 years old. Now, okay, he scored 13 last year, and I think probably eight or nine of those were after I took over. 17 the year before. Awesome. Ossolini, eh, I think he's overvalued. I mean, he looks okay, but you know, I think uh, I think Bosdag has a better finishing. Lowe's gonna play elsewhere. Where does he? Okay, he plays striker and winger. I think he's gonna end up playing more winger. I would guess. 
Uh, maybe not. We'll see. He may have been a wasted signing. I don't know. All right, well, let's get into the match. So match, match preview. All right, we are playing Liverpool. We've only beaten them once out of 12. Unregistered, out, doubtful, doubtful. Mateo Kovacic, a doubtful with a bruised head. All right, so we're underdogs, so I want to play that tactic there. Okay, target to the side. Who is my uh, halfback here? Dale, Dale Sinclair. Jumping reach, tackling, passing as a 14. Passing as a nine. Okay, so then I want, I would like Sinclair right there. And then defensive right, center, mid right, defensive right, striker, wingers, wingers. I think, no. Mid, yeah, mid center, mid right, mid right, left, and center. I think I want to put. Uh, yeah, I want to put him in left and center. All right, so he'll be he'll be on there for reserves. Over here. Grabara, oh, Jesus. Matt Ingram had a bunch, a bunch of people inquired about him this off season. I did turn down a lot of bids. All right, hand over to the assistant. Let's give him some faith and kick off. All right, we're in the prison outfits again. <laughs> All right. Ingram, kickoff highlight, plays it through, cleared out, oh, headed behind him. We actually, on the grid, appeared to match up pretty well with Liverpool. Not sure how true that's going to be. Alexander-Arnold, uh, just high, good, good, good. Oh, Vernon, oh, good save by the keeper. Oh, Garcia sets up a corner. What time is it? 3.45 or so. Okay. You go to work at 4.15? Yeah. Okay. Oh, VAR. Oh, it's, it never shows a goal. That was close, though. At least it was over halfway. <laughs> oh, we got robbed. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, that's Liverpool's left back, looks like. He's a devil worshiper. He's wearing number 66. Come on, boys. All right, get creative. Ooh, a, a, a heel pass behind him. Danger! Oh, God, look at that shot. That was a laser beam. My God. I don't think I have anybody on the team that can shoot like that. Ugh. I think my, my my real number one keeper would have saved it. Uh, Vernon, that was just too easy right in the bread basket, man. That was a can of corn. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Google is your friend. <laughs> oh, Fogarty Bell. I think he I think that went through. Grabara's body. I think if they show a close up, he actually has a hole in the middle of him there. I'm going to drop back to positive. I mean, we're hanging in there. We're playing well. Matt Ingram. We'll look at him at the half. 
even on shots, even on chances, advantage on possession. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not doing anything wrong. Uh, let's see, Ingram is at 68%. So, yeah, let's go ahead and sub him off. Uh, that would be mid right. We'll go there. Back to the pep talk. They weren't bad. They weren't bad, excuse me. Watch your yellow. All right, so we've already made our first sub. I was watching, uh, oh, here we go. Put it in, put it in. Oh, off the woodwork. Oh, come on. No penalty. Come on. Oh, we had a shot. Push forward. All right, come on, boys. Oh, no, what the hell was that? That looked like a pinball bouncing around in there. I'm not even sure what happened. Okay, it just it went off the top of the net and bounced down. Ugh. Trent Alexander-Arnold. So we've gotten him out of the game. Bonus points for us. Um, okay, uh, he is not playing well. Um... Let's give Jan Lowe his debut. Definitely can't draw any conclusions. I mean, Liverpool is a legit top six side. All right. Oh, nice ball there. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Yes, Melindo. First goal of the season four is on the books. It's not going to help us win. We're still going to lose, but 3-1 looks a lot better than 3-0. Oh, man. I am I am going to pay the price for that registration error. It's like, you know, you look at those throw-ins and you're like, what the fuck is that, man? All right, my left back decided not to cover anything. That was good. Oh, God. I think Grabar almost missed that one as well. Cleared out. Safely away. Uh, let's see. Why is... That needs to be West Brom stats. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, he is on a yellow. Coleman is not playing well. Defensive center. Actually, defensive right is tired. All right, let's bring Hefty in for him. All right, Melindo. Crossed over. Oh, Jan Lowe. He's on the board in his debut. Nice header. Very nice. That was a nice little setup. Uh, he just, well, yeah, he was kept on sides. Very nice play, boys. I like that. That bodes well. All right, uh, push forward. Oh, my God. Is there a penalty? No? Hello? Corner, maybe? Our keeper just looks outmatched in this game. Our back four is kind of looking outmatched at this game, too. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, our player's like setting his leg. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, that was, oh, I thought that was one of our players. Okay, well, that's cool. Looked like he was setting his leg. I haven't seen that before. That's funny. All right, cleared out. Oh, shit. What the hell, man? Is there a save in your body this season, Grabara? I mean, you did you did the job last year, but shit. 
I mean, look at we've got we've got the shot advantage. Taggart's playing a six. No, just blow the whistle. Yeah, four to two. That was a little unfair at the end, but my God. I don't think we played bad. We had the advantage in shots on target. We had four chances to two. We didn't have a lot of long shots. Possession advantage. I just, uh, yeah, we just didn't play well. Uh, dressing room, let's see. Um, yeah, he played a six for the game. Um, so let's... I want to hand over to the assistant. Hey, you were excellent, but I am going to... You're a team leader. Uh, selected player. Passionate. No. Assertive. I'm not happy. He looks, he looks delighted. So, you know, I'm holding him accountable. I guess that's the, uh, I guess that's the thing to take here, right? Prevent the upset. And eh. Matt Ingram's out five to six days. Lowe makes his debut. All right, so where do we come back? I want to go ahead and get a few games in. We do have an EFL second, EFL Cup. That's the Carabao Cup. Oh, well. I'll figure out where to come back because I got to bail. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we will see you next time. Bye.